Good morning and welcome to the 2024 NCAA Beach Volleyball Selection Show. I'm your host, Will Haskett. It is arguably the most exciting championship of the year, especially given the explosion of growth in this sport over the last several years. And yet again, the spotlight of the sport this year will be on Gulf Shores, Alabama next weekend as 17 teams will compete across five rounds in single elimination to determine a champion. Of those 17 we're about to announce, nine are automatically in the field by virtue of conference bids. That leaves eight at-large berths to award today as well. Every team is seated as we head to the beaches on Friday. So let's break down who is in and who they are playing coming up next week as we start unveiling the teams right now. And we will start with the top overall seed. No surprise, it belongs to Southern Cal. To be the champs, you must beat the champs. And while others have had success at times against the Trojans during regular seasons, nobody has topped them in the NCAA tournament for three straight years. Winners of five of the seven championships ever played, no matter the rankings, this is always the team to beat. And to prove that again, the women of Troy just took down all challengers in the Pac-12 tournament to erase any doubt on who the top seed would be heading into today. Megan Kraft and Delaney Maple have been the stars all season, holding down the spot on court one, and each have over 120 career victories. They will scout the opening round match, which starts with 16th seeded North Florida. Congrats to the Ospreys on making their first NCAA tournament after capturing the A-Sun tournament in dominant fashion. They never registered a loss in four sweeps to the title and entered the tournament winners of seven in a row. First time any team has swept the A-Sun tournament. They face another debutante in Chattanooga with the Ohio Valley champs earning a first ever NCAA berth to go along with being co-regular season champions. A very confident group entering this opening match includes the dynamic duo of Nava Clark and Corina Vale, who finished the tournament as OVC tournament MVPs for their efforts on court one. The 8-9 matchup is next. Red Hot LMU leading things off. The Lions did not want to leave their fourth straight NCAA berth up to chance. They rolled to the WCC championship this past weekend to secure the berth. Their fifth consecutive title becoming the first sport in program history to ever win five straight conference titles. The clinching point came on court three. Anna Paloya and Jacinda Ramirez able to launch the celebration for LMU. And they face another champion coming in with confidence. Hawaii took care of business in the Big West. Eighth time appearance for them with the only miss coming in the 2021 season. Hawaii has taken care of business this year against the teams that they should. But can they conquer the best when it comes to this tournament? All their losses this year have come against teams in the top 10. Eight of those losses coming against top five ranked teams. Two-time All-American Kaylee Glagow surpassed the 100 win mark in her career recently. All right, let's hand out some at-large berths, shall we? The first shouldn't be a surprise, Cal Poly back in the tournament. A loss in the Big West semifinals should have the Mustangs motivated and focused to make waves in this tournament, especially after missing out on a selection a season ago. The Mustangs own five wins over top five ranked teams this season. And while there are never any guarantees, a 21-match win streak from Logan Walter and Piper Nace on number four court is as close as you can get to a guarantee for this lineup this year. All right, maybe a more nervous wait coming up for our next at-large. 12 seed, though, goes to a celebratory group. Rest easy, Arizona State. The Sand Devils celebrate their first ever NCAA appearance after winning two duels in the Pac-12 championship for the third time in program history. Arizona State owns a winning record against ranked teams this season, likely a massive reason why their name is called today. Veteran players Taryn Ames and Lexi Sweeney were named to the all-tournament team in the Pac-12. Both are Phoenix natives and get to see their program in the NCAA tournament for the first time. Congratulations to that program. And it wouldn't be a tournament without our four seed. That belongs to Florida State. The three-time national runner-ups are one of just four teams overall to make it to the national championship match and have the depth to pull off the feet again here in 2024. Audrey Koenig and Raylan White, along with Anna Long and Alexis Durish, unanimously selected as all-conference performers. Koenig transitioned successfully from indoor to outdoor two seasons ago, but her partnership with White this year has been spectacular. And they face another Pac-12 team sweating out a spot, but do not fret. Washington, you are in. This marks the first berth in tournament history for the Huskies, which got to the 20-win mark in the Pac-12 tournament before bowing out to Stanford. But they took a lot of promise from that matchup 
taking a set or at least getting to 20 on every court against the Cardinal. Maybe it all comes together for an upset run in Alabama as Washington hears its name called and makes a little bit of tournament history for that program. All right, Georgia State is next. A familiar name now making a third straight appearance and fourth overall. The Sandy Panthers have faced 18 ranked opponents this year and have plenty of on-court experience to make things interesting in Gulf Shores. This is a program that won two matches in the old double elimination format two years ago, so they know what it takes to win in the NCAA postseason. And they open with Stanford, the three seed. And that large berth gives the Cardinal their fourth straight NCAA berth. A very impressive start to this season saw Stanford beat conference rivals Southern Cal and UCLA very early, along with two other ranked opponents to start the season. That showed the entire sport that this is a team capable of winning against the best. After winning its first NCAA tournament match a season ago, this feels like a second day team in 2024 and maybe even deeper than that. We say good morning to LSU, the Tigers, national semifinalists in 2019, but couldn't get beyond the semis in the CCSA tournament this weekend, which should have this group focused when making the short commute to their seventh NCAA tournament. Only three programs have more appearances than LSU. They open with TCU, the Conference USA champions. Fourth appearance for the Horned Frogs, who had 10 wins against ranked opponents this season. Haley Hamlet continues to be the anchor on court, won this season. She's rising to the ranks after her all-freshman campaign a couple of seasons ago. A conference shift for TCU this year did nothing to stunt its dominance in conference play, and now their sights are set on knocking off the top teams. Last year, TCU took eventual champion USC to the final court in a very thrilling semifinal. The 10 seed belongs to Long Beach State, who enter with momentum, even if they didn't win the Big West Championship. The Beach knocked off top seed Cal Poly in that tournament run and then had the action in the championship game, which came down to the third set on court four in a match that was decided 16-14 in that decisive set, literally a point away from a conference title, but a performance that they can still be uplifted from. The Beach head back to their third NCAA tournament, back-to-back -back seasons for the first time, and now look for the program's first NCAA tournament win, which would have to come against California, the Golden Bears, becoming regulars now in this show, and this their third straight NCAA tournament. This team owns some very impressive wins during the season, including dual victories over Florida State, LMU, and Hawaii, all fellow single-digit seeds in this bracket. And the final matchup begins with our last AQ, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. The Islanders capturing the Southland Conference Tournament for a third consecutive season, now preparing for their third NCAA tournament where they won an opening round match a year ago. Having lost in the conference tournament to Boise State, the Islanders fought back to the championship, avenging that loss, getting a thrilling win on court one with the overall score tied 2-2. Two two. Cassie Dodd and Chloe Tomey rallied as well in their match 15-7 to punch the ticket back to the NCAA tournament. And they draw a tough one. You knew they would be lurking here at number two. Hello, UCLA, the two-time national champions, have failed to conquer the final match against their rivals from Southern Cal twice in the last three years, despite besting them multiple times, including this year in Pac-12 competition. The key to the tournament may be the play on courts three and four, where the Bruins have looked for consistency and chemistry throughout the season. Those courts may end up being the difference in trying to add to the trophies from 2018 and 2019. Lexi Denenberg became UCLA's all-time winner in the Pac-12 tournament this past weekend and could go beyond 130 career wins in her final NCAA postseason. She was an all-tournament performer a season ago on court one. All right, there you have it, all 17 teams that will hit the sand this coming week in pursuit of a national championship. It will be a marathon, three days in Gulf Shores to crown our next national champ. With the opening round and first round action underway on Friday, the championship match will get center stage treatment on Sunday, May the 5th. You can watch all of the action across the ESPN family of networks this week from the southern shores of Alabama. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Will Haskett. Congratulations and best of luck to all the student athletes competing in this year's championship. If you're not here for Fandom 101, you're in the wrong class. Here we learn the fundamentals of fanology, the basics of bringing the noise, and the physics of freaking out. Your path to fan mastery begins here. It's all part of the curriculum.
the NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed.